Good evening, you're watching the news from Stanton from Man Television. First, the headlines. A number of governments witness varied intensity rains and the Civil Aviation Authority issues a warning of heavy thunderstorms. More than 18 billion Omani Rials is the volume of direct foreign investments in the Sultanate of Oman until the third quarter of last year. And Republican Kevin McCarthy is elected Speaker of the U.S. House of Representatives. Those are the headlines and now for the news in detail. Chances of thunder showers continue over the governorates of Musandam, North Albatna and al Baremi, South Albatna and al Dahira today, Saturday, associated with gusty winds and chances of flash floods bodies. The intensity of heavy rains is expected over Oman coastal areas with amounts between 30 mm and 50 mm. Chances of thunder showers to extend over Muscat and al Hajar mountains at night. Civil Aviation Authority advises all to take precautions during the thunder shower rain and wadis and avoid sailing during the mentioned period. Due to the impacts of the low trough system over the northern parts of the Sultan of Oman, a number of wadis in the governorate of Musandam witnessed moderate to heavy rains which led some wadis and their tributaries to overflow. Here are some pictures of the rains from the walayas of Kassab and Daba. The volume of direct foreign investments in the Sultanate of Oman reached 18 billion and 14 million Omani reals until the third quarter of last year, increasing by around 10% compared to the same period in 2021. The Ministry of Commerce, Industry and Investment Promotion stated that the volume of trade exchange between the Sultanate of Oman and the countries of the world amounted to 30 billion 421 million 400 thousand Omani reals until September of 2021, with an increase of 46.18%. The value of foreign direct investments in the manufacturing industry sector amounted to 1 billion 717 million and 100,000 Omani reals until the end of the third quarter of last year, compared to 1 billion 512 million Omani reals for the same period in 2021. The value of tenders and projects awarded by the tender board during the previous year reached more than 505 million 300,000 Omani reals compared to 252 million 500,000 Omani reals in 2021, recording an increase by 100%. The five biggest tenders were distributed in terms of cost on the sectors of health, infrastructure, education and information technology. It came coinciding with the increase in the government revenues and government spending on various sectors with the aim to fulfill the citizens' needs, encouraging the economic activity, enhancing business environment, increasing the efficiency of infrastructure, as well as the health, education, social and cultural sectors. Musandam International Investment Company signed a purchase agreement for the Sultanate Investment Services Company, which operates in the construction contracting sector as it has implemented projects worth more than 15 million Omani reals. This agreement comes within the framework of building the capacities and capabilities of Musandam International Investments Company, which is considered the largest closed joint stock company based in Musandam Governorate. The company was established recently under the supervision of the Office of the Ministry of State and the Governor of Musandam, in partnership between the Government Work Team of Ministerial Committee Concerned with the establishment of private companies and the branch of the Oman Chamber of Commerce and Industry in the Musandam Governorate, which is listed on the third market in the Muscat Stock Exchange. The total value of insured sales and credit Oman in foodstuff and construction materials sector rose during the third quarter of last year. The statistics issued by the Credit Oman pointed out that the foodstuff sector witnessed a growth by 171% and 
as the total value of insured sales reached more than 119 million Omani rials. Meanwhile, the value of Omani exports reached more than 40 million rials. The statistics also showed that the value of the sales from the Sultan of Oman to the world reached 79,313,967 rials. The Muscat Stock Exchange main index first week trading of 2023 closed at 4,868 points, recording a decline by 51% to reach 14 million Omani rials compared to the last trading session that reached 28,900,000 rials. The number of implemented deals declining from 3,319 to 2,587. Republican Kevin McCarthy was elected Speaker of the U.S. House of Representatives earlier today. After making extensive concessions to a group of right-wing hardliners that raised questions about the party's ability to govern, the 57-year-old Californian suffered one final humiliation when the representative, Matt Pettis, withheld his vote on the 14th ballot as midnight approached, prompting a scuffle in which the fellow Republican, Mike Rogers, had to be physically pulled away. McCarthy's victory in the 15th ballot brought an end to the deepest congressional dysfunction in 160 years, but it sharply illustrates the difficulties that he will face in leading a narrow and deeply polarized majority. For the first time. A new U.S. weapons aid package for Ukraine worth more than $3 billion U.S. dollars was announced by the White House Press Secretary Jean-Pierre during a news briefing. Jean-Pierre said the military assistance included Bradley Infantry fighting vehicles, self-propelled howitzers, mine resistance, ambush protected and guided multiple launch rocket systems, amongst other equipment. The U.S. and Germany have also pledged to send Patriot missile systems to repel Russian missile and drone attacks. China is in talks with Pfizer company to secure a license that will allow domestic drug makers to manufacture and distribute a generic version of the U.S. firm's COVID-19 antiviral drug, Paxlovid, in China. China's medical product regulator, the National Medical Products Administration, has been leading the talks with Pfizer since late last month, one of the sources with knowledge of the matter has said. Beijing is keen to finalize license deal terms before the Lunar New Year, which begins on January 22nd. Chinese hospitals are under intense pressure after the government abruptly abandoned its zero-COVID policy last month, sending infections soaring. The surging wave of infections across the country has overwhelmed hospitals, emptied pharmacies and medicines and caused international alarm. Utility crews in Northern California worked to restore power to tens of thousands of homes following two days of fierce winds and torrential rain. The next bout of heavy showers and gusty winds was expected to arrive in the San Francisco Bay Area last night and expand across Northern California and into Southern Oregon today. Yesterday, much of the northern two-thirds of California, the most populous state in the United States, was under flood watches. Gale force winds advisories and winter storm warnings as the forecasters urged residents to prepare and stay off roads in flood-prone areas. The U.S. Food and Drugs Administration approved the Alzheimer drug developed by ISI Co. and Biogen Inc. for patients in the earliest stages of the disease. They said today that the Japanese drug maker has applied for full FDA approval of the drug. The drug to be sold under the brand Lekiembi belongs to a class of treatments that aim to slow the advance of the disease by removing sticky clumps of the toxic protein beta amyloid from the brain. The Japanese company said it also planned to apply for marketing authorization in Japan and the European Union by the end of its business year on March 31st, with hopes of winning an approval from the Japanese authority by the end of this year. They estimated that the number of US patients eligible for the drug would reach around 100,000 within three years, increasing gradually from there over the medium to long term. This is the Sultan of Oman Television. Before we end tonight's bulletin, here are the main points once again. A number of governors witnessed varied intensity rains and Civil Aviation Authority issues a warning of heavy thunderstorms.
More than 18 billion Omani Rials is the volume of direct foreign investments in the Sultan of Oman until the third quarter of last year. And Republican Kevin McCarthy is elected Speaker of the U.S. House of Representatives. With that, we come to the end of tonight's news bulletin. From all of us here at the newsroom and the studios, it's good night.